Today we'll talk about well property distribution, in our case, permeability over the whole 3D domain using machine learning methods. Usually we use, and you know that, creaking base methods for property estimation. But today let's deviate from that, and I will show you how you can run machine learning methods like Gaussian process regression for this exact purpose. My name is Ruslan, I'm here to help you learn machine learning in oil and gas. The GitHub repo that we are going to unbox here today comes from the authors of this well-known book about machine learning in oil and gas industry. And starting with the dataset, there are a few datasets available online that have valid information like Wolf, Tearpot, NSP, Benchmark, or several others that have a good fit for that purpose. The GitHub repo that we already seen comes with SP9 dataset. The data is stored in a format that would be familiar for those who are working with Razor simulation. Of course, you can take any other dataset in any other format. But then you need to change a few things in the script to get it working, particularly the part that reads the data. Although it has to be very straightforward. Here we define where dataset is stored, reading it in 3D grid and calculating statistics for permeability property. We can read the data with the following code. There are 26 wells and knowing their location, we can extract the well logs for the permeability property from the 3D volume. And here we can visualize the grid in 3D, as well as the extract well logs for permeability in X direction. There are quite small number of cells in this model. By visually expecting the data, we can quickly identify two distinct features. The model is highly heterogeneous, and there is a little correlation between the values in the neighboring cells. Before we go further, your sub to the channel would definitely be correlated with my appreciation. Alright, let's compute experimental variogram for the grid and the extracted well log data. For those who are unfamiliar, the experimental variogram is a discrete function that measures the variability between the pairs of points at various distances. For those who are interested in learning more about geostatistics, then hit me with a comment. Run this cell to get variogram values where the luck is taken within this range. The first thing that stands out is how big the nugget variance in both of these variogram models. And from geostatistics, we know that a big nugget size means that the data is noisier, and there is little spatial correlation between the values. And based on these variograms, we can conclude that the data was not generated based on well logs. Alright, let's talk about the method that we'll use for well log property distribution. Gaussian process regression is falling under supervised learning methods within machine learning. In this section, we import necessary libraries for working with the model. And as we know, we need to normalize the input data before feeding it to any ML methods. Here, standardization goes with X and Ys, with removing the mean and scaling it to unit variance. How about we talk a little bit about the kernel? Kernel tricks makes a highly nonlinear regression problem become linear, or almost linear, so it's easier to solve a difficult problem. Here, we are taking the RBF kernel, which stands for radial basis function. Then we need to define the Gaussian process regressor, call the fit function to train this method, and predict values at the well location to make sure that fitting is done right. On the training data set, fitting got an R2 score of 0.7. Let's distribute the data over the whole 3D grid. We are still using the same predict function, but this time we are passing X values for the whole grid. Here you can see the well log data permeability value distributed over the whole 3D domain. Also, there is a variance plot. Alright, let's talk about the reasons why Gaussian process regression is a good fit for 3D spatial interpolation problems. This algorithm does a good job of interpolating measured data. As a result, property estimation in area between already drilled wells is very accurate. Predictions made with Gaussian process regressions are based on probabilities. And as we know, uncertainty quantification is a very important part of 3D property modeling. And Gaussian process regression has some problems. Though just like any other method, this method is not good for extrapolation. When extrapolating away from the sample data, the estimate values tend to move toward the mean and the variance of the sample data. I've prepared another very good video for you, where you'll learn how to start working with Python-based geological modeling and build your first geological model with it. See you at the next one.